What's going on everybody? So I'm back in the video and today's video I'm doing another top 10 C tweak video. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys go check out my other tweaks if you're looking for more tweaks to install onto your jailbroken device. Also, I want to mention all the tweaks that I mentioned in the video will be down below in the description as well as these sources that you'll need to add to get any of the specific tweaks. I've also started adding timestamps in the videos in the description. So if you're not really interested into a tweak that I mentioned or I'm talk currently talking about, you guys can skip ahead to the next tweak. I also want to thank you guys so much for the support on the channel lately. We are almost at like 13, 1400 subscribers. So I appreciate all the support on the channel. So the first tweak I have in today's video is called a message swap. So what this one allows you to do is if you're trying to send your friend like a screenshot from your photo library originally you have to tap on the, the camera icon and then click on the photo library and it can get kind of annoying um, especially if you're continuously sending uh, screenshots so what this one allows you to do is it replaces that with just the photo album so if I go to my settings application or my iMessage application right here you guys can see it replaces it with the photo so if I tap on this right here it's going to show all my uh, photos from my uh, photo library so just easy quick access um, so this one's called message swap the next figure for you guys is called Aquarius and what this one allows you to do is is get a new design for your music player on your lock screen so unfortunately I can't show you it live I just have a screenshot um, just because it'll stop my screen recording if I accidentally like, lock my phone so if I go to my phone's library here this isn't a great example just because how of how it looks because of my lock screen widget um, but you guys can see right here, um, it just redesigns the music player. So uh, it would look a lot better if I move my lock screen widget to like the bottom or, like, or the top and then change the text color. So once you do install the Aquarius, you have a couple options right here. So you have the option to change the layout. So I have the skinny AF right now. You have the volume bar, progress bar, or default. Like I said, you have the option to change the color, which is awesome. So it'd probably look a lot better if I change it to a white text. Uh, color instead of the black one and then you guys can also change the opacity of the music player the next figure for you guys is called the power settings so what this one allows you to do is get more power options so if we go to settings you'll notice after you install tweak we have a new option here called power options we'll tap on that you have the options to restart your springboard enter save mode reload damien's reboot user space refresh icon cache reboot and shut down device so for example if you're like using a tweak and you're just having so many issues with it and like you just can't like you want to enter a save mode or something like that you guys can just tap on that enter save mode and then remove the tweak itself so just a pretty cool tweak to have called power settings the next ticket for you guys is called numberfications and what this one allows you to do is it shows the number of notifications on your notification center so if i pull that down right there you guys can see right here um, it says we have 10 notifications and if we still tap on it, we still have the option to clear it. So just a very simple tweak to have called numberfications. The next sticker for you guys is called Tiny Banners 2. So this one gives you a redesign for your uh, notifications every time you get like a Snapchat notification, Twitter notification. Uh, so we download this tweak and we go into it. We can test a um, banner right here. So we test it. For some reason I'm not getting any so just give me a couple seconds for a text so you guys can see right here we did get a text with the animation so you have the option to disable that I'm not really a big fan of it so you guys can just turn that off if you want even more tiny you guys can toggle that on and then there's a bunch of other UI settings you guys can change like the um, adaptive background you guys can even change like the passy how on um, the positioning of it the size of the text all that stuff so Pretty cool tweak to have called Tiny Banners 2. The next sticker for you guys is called Melted Crayons. And what this one allows you to do is it just changes the background to a bunch of like kind of crayon colors that match the album artwork. So it's not like Color Flow 5, if you know what that tweak is. It's not like it doesn't completely change the background so it matches the album artwork, but it still changes the color, which looks pretty cool. So this one works in Apple Music and Spotify. So if I go to Spotify right now, you guys can see um, if I just play a song right here. The color you guys see like the colors will change um throughout every song i play so some songs in spot if i have like video wallpapers so obviously it'll take no effect on that but if we go to the next song right here so if i just click this playlist for example this new drake song that came out last night we have this cool little color so a lot uh, some of the songs will look better on other ones but pretty cool tweak to have called melted crayons the next tweak i have for you guys is called dodo plus and what this one allows you to do it is if you guys can see on my badge icons right here it just has a little dot and also matches the icon color which looks pretty awesome i honestly think this looks a lot better than cozy badges um if you guys seen my tweak on that review on that but uh just a pretty simple one if we go into tweaks 
Um, I don't think we have any options, or we do. So if you go to Dota Plus, you guys can change it to a uh, for the dot to be a little hole, or if you want a solid dot, and you have the adaptive color, which I do like. I don't like how it's just all the same. If it if it were to all be the same colors, but you do have the option to do that if you want that, and you guys can obviously change the opacity. So pretty dope tweak to have. I recommend you guys get this one called Dodo Plus. The next ticket for you guys is called Any Key Track Pad. And what this one allows you to do is if you normally uh, type a text or like you're in like Safari and you hold the space button, you're going to be able to like select the text. So like, for example, if you want to go back and change like a text or something or delete something, you have to hold the space button. It only works on the space button. But with this tweak, it actually allows you to use it on any letter or anything on your keyboard. So for example, if I hold the a G option or the, the letter G, we're gonna be able to kind of like go anywhere on our little text box right here. So pretty useful tweak to have called any key track pad. The next sticker for you guys is called a fluid widget. So you guys can see right here, every time I kind of like swipe on my home screen, we have this cool little fluid like color explosion. So with this tweak, you actually need something called XEN HTML. And then the actual like widget I currently have is called Fluid Widget. So if we go into settings right here, um, you guys can scroll down to XCN HTML, which I'll obviously leave the source down below in the description to get this first. And then you have to go into home screen, toggle it on, obviously, go to background widgets, and then you want to add a widget, and then you want to add the Fluid Widget. So for some reason, it just crashed on me. But right here, you guys can see I have this one right on, which is the... Uh, transparency one so uh, it's pretty awesome to have on your home screen especially if you have a dope wallpaper um, which I currently do if you want this wallpaper I'm gonna be posting it on my Twitter I get a lot of questions asked about this wallpaper so if you're ever looking for wallpapers that you see my videos are gonna be always on my Twitter if you don't see it just DM me and I'll send send it to you through DMs the next sticker for you guys is called dismiss progress so this is a very useful tweak for someone like me or any like kind of content creator or even just for someone who's installing a lot of tweaks so um, every single time you install a tweak, you have to restart your free springboard depending on the tweak. So what this one allows you to do is if we reinstall or install this tweak right here. So I'll just reinstall it for now. You guys can see right here, every single time I would have to restart springboard. But now with this tweak, you have a new option called close. So you can install all your favorite tweaks first and then do the respring on the last tweak you want to install. So you don't have to restart this respringboard, open up Cydia, let Cydia refresh, and then look for the tweak. So it's just very annoying. This is super useful for me since I'm doing these like top 10 C2 videos like every um, like every couple of days. It's just very useful. I don't have to continuously restart my respringboard. So yeah, guys, that's basically it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. I do apologize um, if I kind of like pronounced, like kind of started throughout this video. I'm really tired right now, but I did want to get this video out for you guys because I haven't posted one in like two days or so. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys drop a like on it. Hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys don't miss a video. And that's basically it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.